Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be trying and testing the brand new Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. Now, my full makeup's done, so I've got it on my face. I don't know about you, but I'm kind of loving it. I'm kind of obsessed at the moment. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Instagram. Let us get straight into this video. I hope you guys do enjoy. Today, we are trying and testing the brand new Fenty Beauty Powder Pro Filter Powder Foundation. I, I literally can't even explain how excited I was when I saw this. The only thing is, I have never, ever, ever tried powder foundation. I'm so glad that my first time trying powder foundation is a Fenty Beauty foundation. We're gonna see, we're gonna see how it goes because I have literally never tried powder foundation. I remember when I first saw powder foundation I was like mm, no that's weird, not, not, not trying that. I'm gonna stick to the liquid or stick foundation. That, that, that's just weird. But of course Fenty Beauty brand that I absolutely love and I'm obsessed with, I just had to get it. I had to give it a try. It was so annoying as well because they announced, so when they announced it, it was the 26th of December, so Boxing Day for us, and Boxing Day is literally when we went into lockdown, so I think it was the start of the week or the week before that they announced it. I had planned it all out. I was like, okay, 26th of December, I'm gonna get up early in the morning, I'm gonna go get it, I'm gonna go try it, I'm gonna make a video, I'm gonna upload it, I'm gonna do all this stuff. And then they announced lockdown. And I was like, wow, that's great, that's, that's great, isn't it? So, I actually got this as an early birthday gift, um, and it was ordered online, and it came so much quicker than it was supposed to. I think it was supposed to come like the 4th of January. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I have to wait that long to try it. But it came today. Today is the 29th of December. So we are trying it today. I have seen videos, I've seen pictures, and this foundation looks absolutely flawless, beautiful. I'm so excited to try it. I've never tried founda foundation, I've never tried powder foundation, so I'm a little bit like, hmm, will I like it? But that is what we're here to do today. I have done some eye makeup. So first, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Primer. Um, this is the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer, so let's just go in with some of this. I got the same shade that I use in the Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation 310, so this is the lovely packaging. A lovely Fenty Beauty sign, as always. No, I definitely think that's my shade. I think the light, the lighting on my camera. I got a new camera as well, so I think the lighting on my camera just looks a little bit bright on when I'm like showing the foundation. So this looks lighter than it actually is. Hopefully this works because it's the exact same shade that I use on the Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation, and that is literally my perfect shade. So. Comes with a sponge, and the sponge is literally just underneath. I'm just gonna go in with the sponge, right? So we're gonna dip it, dip, swipe. We're just gonna go in here. So we've got the product on our sponge there. Wow. That is the perfect match. Lit that is a perfect match. Okay. Look how... That is literally the perfect match. Right. Firstly, I know I've got some spots here, but compare this is the side that I've just put it on. Look how flawless it looks. Like it looks so smooth and textured. I don't know why, but I thought with powder foundation, it would just look powdery, cakey. Like, I don't know, I just thought it would look odd. But look how smooth that looks. 
Okay. I wasn't expecting it to have this much pigment either. Look at that pigment, and it blends so nicely. Like, when you put it on, like, you can see, you can literally just see it. I put it in that one spot, and I've just blended it out so nicely all across my forehead. I am actually quite surprised at this. I'm actually very surprised. It looks so flawless. It's definitely buildable. Powder foundations in general, I just thought, you're going to put it on, it's not going to blend, it's just going to look powdery, cakey. It's not going to blend properly. I don't know why, I just thought it was going to look so weird and odd. I can't explain it, like, it just looks so flawless. It looks so nice, like, I don't know, I don't know what it is, it just literally looks so nice. And I feel like with powder foundation, I used a sponge there, but I feel like if you got like a brush, you could literally just dip it in all over and you'd be done and ready to go. I feel like it's something that's just so easy to use. I don't know, it just feels like so easy and simple and I just love it. I'm loving it. Now the only thing I wasn't sure about, because we've done powder foundation, and I always thought, how does it work putting liquid concealer and uh, contour on top? Like, does it shift the powder? Does it move it around? What does it do? So we're going to try it. You guys probably have already tried this before and know the answer, but because I've never tried powder foundation, I have no idea how this works. Literally, I have no idea how this works. I'm not professional, so we're going to try it today. I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 280. So I'm just going to put this in the inner Now I'm just going to blend this out. Okay, so far I feel like it is blending out really nice. A lot nicer than I thought. I feel like that's blended out so nice. I don't know why, I just thought that powder and liquid it isn't going to work, but then when you think about it, you, I usually do liquid foundation and then powder contour or and then you actually put powder, like setting powder on as well. So yeah, I don't know why I didn't think it was going to work. I feel like it's because it's in reverse maybe. I'm like, mm, don't think that's going to work. But so far so good. And it feels so weird. Right? I'm just going to go, sorry, I'm just going to go in with the Huda Beauty eye powder in the shade Banana. And it feels so weird like Usually I would powder my whole face. Do I powder my whole face because I've got powder foundation on or do I not? I need answers to these questions. I'm confused. I don't know, literally, do I do it or do I not? Or anything? Let's just... Let's just go in with the powder contour. So this is the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker powder in the shade Coco Naughty. I'm actually really liking how this is looking. I feel like I've literally just done my normal makeup routine with the liquid foundation that I usually use. I don't know what it is. I just feel like I'm really liking how this is looking. I'm going to go away and do my mascara and then I'll come back to do to set my face and add some highlighter as well. Okay guys, so I'm back. I ended up just doing my the rest of my face off camera as my lips, mascara, and I added some highlighter as well. So I went in with the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara. And then I use the Fenty Beauty Fairy Balm 24 Cray. Absolutely love this highlighter. And then we went in with the Huda Beauty Spice Girl Contour and then we finished with the Fenty Beauty Cream Gloss Balm of course. 
So this is the finishing look. On my eyes is the Huda Beauty Naughty Nude Palette. As I said, I have never ever tried powder foundation before. So I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like this, I don't know how it's going to look. But after trying it, I have to say I absolutely love it. I don't know why, but I it just feels like I've done my normal makeup routine with the liquid, um, with the Pro Filter Hydrating Liquid Foundation that I would usually use, but made easier. Like, I don't know how to explain it. This is a soft matte finish as well. So, I don't know, I just feel like it looks so nice. I did go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dewy Setting Spray, so I feel like it has given me a little bit of a glow as well, but I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. Let me know what you guys did think as well um, in the comment section below. This shade was absolutely perfect for me when I did first look at it. I was like, oh my god, this looks so off, but it was absolutely perfect. Honestly, guys, I'm absolutely loving it. Like... I just feel like it just looks so, it looks so natural as well as just looking like I've done my makeup, if that, if that makes sense. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.